It's been over two years since the classic back and forth brawl between Rory McDonald and Robbie Lawler at UFC 189, but performance enhancing drug accusations still linger. Mainly because McDonald keeps accusing Lawler of using PEDS. On the TSN MMA Show podcast, Lawler addressed the lack of concern or care from McDonald regarding his character. I think he's trying to figure out why things happened the way they happened and he's finding a different way to cope with it, Lawler said. I was getting hurt, obviously, I got stung by a head kick and he cut my lip with an elbow, but all you have in the end is your will to fight. It was a year ago when McDonald first expressed his suspicions regarding Lawler's drug test results following his loss to the former UFC champion. Last month McDonald responded to a fan on a Reddit Ask Me Anything thread and said he was convinced Lawler was on performance enhancing drugs the night of their fight. The Nevada Athletic Commission found no wrongdoing in Lawler's UFC 189 test results and he's also never been suspended for performance-enhancing drugs in his UFC career. USADA testing began on July 1, just days before their first fight and not the entirety of their training camp. McDonald is 0-2 against Lawler and has since parted ways with the UFC in favor of Bellator MMA. He now finds himself in line for the Bellator welterweight championship against the current champion, Douglas Lima on January 20th. Lawler is set to do battle against the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos at UFC on Fox 26 on December 16th. Dana White publicly stated that the winner between the two will receive the next title shot against UFC welterweight champion, Tyron Woodley. Woodley is expected to be on the sidelines for some time following a shoulder injury he suffered prior to his unanimous decision win against Damian Maia at UFC 214.